the wife once upon a time there was a man named saburobe at mangyo in noto province one night the man went out when he came back he saw two wives in his room he was sure that one of them was a goblin amazingly there was no difference between their appearance or manners or the way they talked he tried all kinds of tricks and asked them many kinds of questions both of them answered everything easily saburobe was perplexed and did not know what to do at last saburobe had a little doubt on one of them so he drove her out of the house and let the other stay in the house as his wife soon he prospered and had two sons the children grew up one day when they were playing hide and seek at home they discovered that their mother had a tail the fox wife now when the truth was revealed she could no longer stay in the house the truth is that i was a fox she said she cried and ran outside the house leaving the children behind after a few days it was time for the rice grains to form the fox wife walked around saburobe's rice field and chanted be fruitful but hide the ears this she did every year and when the rice controllers came to inspect they always excused saburobe's family from payments because the rice grains at only saburobe's house never seemed to fill in well but at the time of harvesting when saburobe took the rice to his house to thresh there was always a greater harvest than that of any other farmer who planted rice as a result saburobe became richer and richer the old man showered with gold once upon a time in a certain village of japan there lived a good old man and a bad old man one day the good old man went into the mountains to work suddenly he heard some voices calling from somewhere the voices repeatedly asked him shall we hold fast to you or stick fast to you finally without thinking anything the old man replied if you want to hold fast hold fast if you want to stick fast stick fast at once lumps of gold and silver came flying the treasure landed on his shoulders and back until it made him groan he carried all the gold and silver to his home and spread it out in front of his wife the old man told her how he got the treasure when they were talking and looking at the treasure the bad old man watched them from the window he was very jealous the bad old man punished the bad old man went to the couple's house i want to do that too and bring home gold and silver on my back 
he said so the next day the bad old man set out into the same mountains as he had expected the voices called him from both sides of the mountain shall we stick fast to you or hold fast to you they called in great excitement the bad old man answered if you want to hold fast hold fast if you want to stick fast stick fast this time a huge amount of pulp came flying down from the tops of the pine trees it landed on the old man's shoulders and back until he was heavily loaded he rushed home granny granny i'm home hurry bring a light and let's see he called the old women quickly brought the light but as soon as she came close to the old man the pulp caught fire the old man was badly burnt thanks for watching do like share subscribe to sahil book house